Hi, I'm Rob Robillard and you're at ConcoredCarpenter.com. On today's tool review, we're going to take a look at job site radios. A few months ago, I got into this heated debate on the job site with some carpenters about which job site radio was best. And we talked about all kinds of bells and whistles and accessories and at the end of the day, we really had our own differences of opinion and it prompted me to do this review. So today we're going to take a look at three different brands, Milwaukee, Porta Cable and DeWalt and four radios and I'm going to tell you my thoughts on them and, and, and share with you some of the accessories. The first radio here is from Milwaukee, it's model number 2790-20 and it is a tank of a radio. It is just this big monster, it's heavy, super durable ABS polymer plastic and these aluminum rails that basically allow it to just be picked up from almost, almost any angle. And it's, it's, it's a nice feature to be able to grab a radio like that, but it's heavy. And I don't, I don't like it because of its weight, but I will say that it is one of the nicest sounding job site radios I've ever heard. It has a 40 watt amp, um, really great reception, and it just sounds real nice. Nice quality speakers. The antenna is durable. It's not going to get bent. It's not like a telescoping antenna. Six foot cord on the back, a DC plug, bottle opener. It's got some cool little accessories. This waterproof, weatherproof compartment right here with this rubber seal is where the batteries go. It's not a charger, but it will run off of 12 volt up to 28 volt batteries. That runs the gamut from Milwaukee. And I don't know if you can see it, but in here there's an, uh, a cord and a rubber strap and a rubber section for an MP3 player or an iPod to be secure and weatherproof in here. That's a nice feature <clears throat> to keep, keep everything dry and protected. The radio itself has all the bells and whistles from an equalizer to a clock to 10 presets and all that stuff. Um, super heavy duty radio, really, really durable. Moving on, we have uh, Porta Cable and their version of a job site radio. This is PC. 18 uh, JP for a model number. Yep. And way lighter than the Milwaukee. Really nice articulating double knuckle antenna, which I like. <clears throat> it sounds really nice too, and it's got great reception. The best thing about this radio, in my opinion, are these two electrical outlets right here. So in other words, you plug your radio in, and then you can plug two, two additional tools into the radio, <coughs> kind of like a power strip, an outlet. The, the feature that I don't like is the auxiliary port is on the front here, which means you've got to plug your, you have to plug your MP3, your MP3 player or your iPod into the front of the tool here, and then you've got to sit it up on top or on the table. The problem with that is it could be damaged by moisture, falling objects, or sawdust. So that, that's not a great thing. As far as powering, this radio can work off of the power cord or an 18 volt battery here on the back. And it, it securely closes like that. Like I said, it's a, it's a nice radio. It sounds great. It's got good reception. And it's pretty, pretty light. This bad boy here is from DeWalt. DeWalt's model number is DC012. This is a job site radio charger. DeWalt's always had radios that charged and it's a real nice, nice system. It charges the um, 7.2 volt up to the 18 volt battery. Why it's not charging a 20 volt battery, I don't, I don't know. I, I actually run some 20 volt tools now and it would be nice to be able to charge my 20 volt. The batteries go in here, it locks in, and on the front you have a uh, charger uh, indicator light that tells you the condition, health of the battery and where it's at as far as status. Auxiliary port on the front, like the port cable and I, I don't like that because your MP3 player or iPod is exposed to the elements. I like how Milwaukee does it and they put it in a sealed compartment. Uh, like the port cable it has a really excellent double knuckle articulating antenna. This radio has great reception and sounds great as well. All the bells and whistles from a clock to bass and 10 presets. What I like best about this 
is in addition to all the push button stuff that they give you, they give you a basic knobs. And, you know, all of these radios have presets. And there's an internal battery that you have to change and keep, you know, keep up to date to keep those presets live. The reality is, at least my experience is, that either that battery dies or it doesn't hold its charge. I have a radio now, a job site radio, that it doesn't hold its charge. So I have to use the knobs to, to tune it. I like the knobs because I can just put my thumb on it and whip through. And if you know me, you know that I like to do things like that. I want it done. And I like to be able to just flip through quickly and get to my station. <clears throat> and yeah, I suppose it makes sense. You can, you can fill out your presets and take the time to do that. You drop this a few times or, or the batteries die. And, you know, that might not be an option. DeWalt also has the heaviest cord, the, the beefiest cord that I've seen out of all the radios, and a really nice clip so you can wrap it up and then clip it to itself, which is real nice. And again, it has outlets on the side, which I really like. It gives you three outlets, and, you know, that's three different tools you can plug in in addition to be charging your batteries. So um, out, of all the, out of all the batteries we've looked at so far, they... They range around the $100 to $120 range. This is about $150, $160 range. And that's because you can charge the batteries. Very durable. The last radio I want to talk about is this little radio by Milwaukee. It's, it's model number uh, 2590-20. And it's my favorite. And it's my favorite because of its size. It is unbelievably light. It's made of the same durable ABS plastic as the bigger model. It's powered by this electrical cord or by their 12 volt lithium batteries, which is real nice. And again, nice, nice little teeny antenna, not bad. It's got great reception and it sounds fine. You know, it has all the features that the other ones have as far as presets and an equalizer and a clock. And again, I, I, I find that stuff nonsense. I'm not interested in that but it does have a mute button. And I like the mute button for a couple of reasons. You're working, somebody yells over to you, or the homeowner or a customer comes over, quick hit of the mute button, it's done. You don't have to be searching for a power button or a volume button. Real nice feature. It also has this feature that opens on the front. IP, uh, MP3 or iPod fits right in the front with the hookup. Put it in, secure it in with the rubber band and this rubber strap, and then close it and it's protected from the elements. Nice touch from Milwaukee. Again, I'm always trying to find ways to work, work easier, lighter, travel lighter and faster. Uh, small radio like this, it's going to fit into your truck or your toolbox. It, you could strap it to your compressor or your toolbox. Uh, it doesn't take up the size of a big toolbox like these other radios. It's nice and compact and this is what I'm going to. All the guys on the job site that I showed this to want one of these. A couple of them are actually going to go out and buy them. Why? Because it's light and it's small. It does what it, it says it's going to do. For me, I want a radio. I want reception and I want some decent sound and I don't want the weight. If I want to charge my batteries, I just use the, the charges that came with the tool. What I did not like about this radio was this. This is the cord, the electrical cord that comes with it. It's got this, this big kind of transformer plug that takes up a lot of space on my, my strip power cord. And it's got this cheesy wire that you'd almost see on a cell phone charger or a laptop. And you know it's going to break here or here, right? That's where they always fail. And, to, you know, it's got a nice long cord, but I really think that Milwaukee dropped the ball on this cord. I think it's junk. I think they need to come back and redesign this tool with a power cord. It doesn't matter if it's a foot or two feet long, as long as it's something, you know, something kind of durable and something that's going to hold up to the job site. That's not going to last. But the bottom line is, I like this radio out of all the other radios. Which one's the best? Well, I think the little one's the best. It's really up to you. This radio here is, I think, about $80, $80, $85. It's well worth it for me for the size and weight. The other radios, you know, you might be interested in the DeWalt because it charges your batteries, especially if you're running DeWalt tools. 
If you run all Milwaukee tools, you might want that Milwaukee because you can power it with the Milwaukee batteries. Same with the Porta cable. So, you know, depending on what you value for accessories, you know, price point, they're all about the same except for the DeWalt, which is a little bit more because it charges. Um, but if you're looking for something that is small, lightweight, and sounds great, this is it right here. I'm Rob Robillard. You're at a conquered carpenter.com, and we'll see you at the next tool review. Take care.